Cholesterol seems to be one of the major buzzwords in health. And yes, cholesterol is important, um, but not nearly as important as the drug companies selling tens of billions of dollars a year, probably since they've been around, probably a trillion dollars in cholesterol-lowering statin drugs. But it is important, and where cholesterol becomes most important is at its extremes, when cholesterol becomes significantly high or when cholesterol is moderately high, but in the presence of other risk factors, risk factors such as high blood pressure, um, high blood sugar, type two diabetes, uh, overweight, obesity, a number of factors like that. So in terms of cholesterol, we make several products, several products that lower your cholesterol naturally, basically taking advantage of certain dietary factors that as part of our diet, would naturally contribute to a significantly lower cholesterol. Uh, plants have a chemical equivalent to cholesterol. Cholesterol is only present in animals. It's, it's part of the, the animal system, not part of the plant system or the plant kingdom. Uh, plants contain a similar molecule. That similar molecule is called a plant sterol or a phytosterol. Things like beta-cetosterol, campesterol, these are plant sterols. Cholesterol is the animal sterol. And as we know, as I said before, cholesterol, as it gets up into the higher extremes or in the presence of other problems or risk factors, can be problematic, can cause issues, increase our, increase our risk of cardiovascular disease, heart, heart attack, stroke, things like that. That's why we're so concerned about that number. Cholesterol in and of itself, the total cholesterol number, isn't the beginning or the ending of the issue. You really need to dig a little deeper. You need to understand what your subfractions are. Your high density lipoprotein, which is the healthy part of the cholesterol, HDL, healthy cholesterol. Your LDL, that's the unhealthy subfraction. Your low density, easy way to remember that, LDL, lousy cholesterol, VLDL, very lousy. So you want to know all these things. You want to know your triglyceride levels. Triglyceride levels are very easy to manage using a healthy source of natural triglyceride omega-3 fatty acids. But knowing your cholesterol number, your big number, the whole total number, that's only the beginning of the equation. We also want to know a number of other things. We want to also make sure we understand if there are any other inflammatory measures in our blood indices that we should look at. And you can get a more sophisticated blood test, cardiovascular blood test done by virtually any doctor nowadays. There's a number of different laboratories that performed them. One of them that originally was doing that was a, a Berkeley profile as they called that. But it's very important to know those factors as well. But back to cholesterol. We make a number of products that naturally lower cholesterol. They are not drugs. As I said before, they simply take advantage of natural components in healthy foods, healthy vegetable-based foods that will lower our total cholesterol and lower our LDL, our bad cholesterol, and as a result, lower our cardiovascular risk, our risk of heart disease. So this is something that comes without side effect, without risk, without harm. And just as you wouldn't have to change your diet if you're taking statin drugs, well, you should change your diet if you're taking statin drugs to lower cholesterol to have a healthier diet. But the nutritional components that we offer that are present in my Cholesticare, present in my Ultimate Oatmeal and my Ultimate Oat Bran, which lower cholesterol better than any oatmeal or oat bran in the world, or my Choco Nuvo. You don't have to worry about taking any of those products even at the same time as your statin drug, as something like Zetia, which lowers cholesterol, but by a different mechanism than statin drugs. Also, if you happen to be taking statin drugs, statin drugs work by inhibiting an enzyme, uh, HMG-CoA reductase, and by inhibiting that enzyme, it lowers cholesterol, but it also lowers coenzyme Q10. So if you're taking statin drugs, you need to be supplementing coenzyme Q10. It will lower your risk of side effects. One of those side effects most common is, is fatigue or muscle soreness. And by taking coenzyme Q10, you dramatically lower your risk of those side effects. It's just common sense to do so. As you lower cholesterol, which you're seeking to do, you also lower something that is critical for energy production, that is critical for your good health and the best functioning of all your organs. So you must, synth you must supplement coenzyme Q10 
if you're taking a cholesterol lowering statin drug. And again, when you're taking any of my products that lower cholesterol, you're simply taking an ingredient that's part of a healthy diet. You don't have to worry about taking that in conjunction with any of those medications or drugs. They work perfectly. They work entirely by a different dietary mechanism. I'm often asked, if I take my ultimate oat bran, have that in the morning or my ultimate oatmeal, should I have my Choco Nuvo? Absolutely no need. You could have a piece of Choco Nuvo if you really want, but no need because you're getting your plant sterols, you're getting a dose to lower cholesterols with, cholesterol with your oatmeal or oat bran. If you have a piece of Choco Nuvo with lunch or dinner, should you take a capsule of Cholesticare? There's no need because you got your plant sterols from your Choco Nuvo. So either one of them replaces the other. If you're having a piece of Choco Nuvo with every single meal, you don't need to have a capsule of Cholesticare. Um, if you're having oatmeal or oat bran for breakfast, you don't need to have a capsule of Cholesticare at breakfast. You don't need to have a square of Choco Nuvo at breakfast. But ideally, you have one of them with each meal, um, or one with each of your two largest meals. So again, if you wanted to have six pieces of Choco Nuvo every day or eight pieces of Choco Nuvo, you can do so. It's going to help lower your cholesterol. Once you get beyond three or four pieces of Choco Nuvo, you don't really see, there's a law of diminishing returns. You don't really see a continued reduction in cholesterol level past that point. But if you enjoy your Choco Nuvo, there's no reason why not. If you have perfect cholesterol levels, there's no reason. My cholesterol levels are very good now. There's no reason for me to need to take additional Choco Nuvo, but I enjoy it, so I do. And chocolate, dark chocolate in particular, the kind of way we make chocolate, the manner in which we do so, dark chocolate has rich protective compounds, so dark chocolate is the healthy way to consume chocolate. Chocolate as candy or as confections with cream and lots of sugar and all sorts of things added, not so healthy. So the way we do chocolate is. So hopefully that answered your question. As I've said before, there are a lot more, there are many things that are more important about our cardiovascular risk than cholesterol. Cholesterol has gotten a lot of play and a lot of press because a lot of pharmaceutical companies rely on that ingredient uh, for tens of billions of dollars of their sales. The most important things we can do for our cardiovascular risk, make sure we manage our blood pressure, make sure we manage our blood sugar, and the most important thing to do in that regard is to try to be at our ideal weight, our optimum weight. If we do so, um, those are the simple measures to manage our cardiovascular risk.